If you have multiple characters on Destiny 2, you are able to power level additional characters much quicker and in this video I'm going to tell you how to do that. Hi everyone, we are currently on the Lightfall expansion on Destiny 2 and today's method I'm going to share with you for helping you power level additional characters works at any point. It's worked in the past, it'll work in the future, so no matter when you're watching this video, if you have multiple characters on Destiny 2, once you've got one at a high enough power level, you can get the others up to speed very, very quickly. The process is very simple and in this video I'll be showing you an example of exactly how to do it. If you do enjoy the video, please do hit that like and share button. I'd really appreciate it. Subscribe for more Destiny 2 content. I just want to plug a fantastic Destiny 2 community as well. If you need a community to come and join, if you need help on the game or anything like that, come and check it out. It's linked at the top of the video description. Your first task is to get your main character as high a power level as you can. So if you can, reach that pinnacle cap. Get as high as you can. I haven't quite done that yet, but I can still show you how the example works. And my main is the Titan. I've just finished the Legendary Lightfall campaign with the Titan. So it's at 1761. But if I equip all of my best items, I can get it up to 1776. By completing the Legendary Lightfall campaign, I got 1770 gear right away, which is a great boost. The powerful cap is 1800 and the pinnacle cap is 1810. Now, ideally, what I want to do now with my main character is get as close to that pinnacle cap as possible. Get all the way to 1810 if I can. Once I'm happy with the power level and I want to level up additional characters, what you want to do is, is you want to take your highest power level weapons and throw them in your vault. You can't share gear with additional characters, so don't worry about that. But you can share weapons. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw this scout rifle at 1771 in the vault. I've got this hard light at 1775. And I've got this grenade launcher at 1770. Now I know these are nowhere near the pinnacle cap. I'm just using this as an example though because it still works at whatever level you've got it. It just really doesn't make sense until you've got it higher though. So if you are doing this, do grind out your main character until you get a higher power level, close to the pinnacle cap as possible. So I'm just going to swap these weapons around and put them in my vault. If you have an app on your phone, it's much easier to do it through the app. But just come to your vault if you haven't and then throw those weapons inside your vault. And with the weapons in your vault, you're ready to then go and change your character and start power leveling them. So I'm going to use my Warlock in this instance. I've not touched this Warlock since the expansion. So it's at 1604, which is the light level or power level that it's given me to start off this new expansion. And we're going to get that up really, really quickly. As it's currently a new campaign and we've got the Lightfall campaign to do, it's given me an option to do it on Normal or Legendary. I'm just going to back out of this though and open my director because we want to get a hold of those weapons that we just put in the vault. So I'm going to go over to the tower. And again, if you've got the Destiny app on your phone, it's much easier just to use that to like switch and change weapons between your characters. I'm going to access my vault here. I'm going to drag these weapons out. I've got the 1771 Scout Rifle that I want. I've got the 1775 hard lights and I have the 1770 grenade launcher. Now currently on my character here you can see my power level is 1604. It's not been touched yet on the new campaign. But I'm able to equip those weapons now at a higher power level. So with all three of those equipped it puts my power level up to 1668 which is a huge boost already. And with the weapons equipped I am now ready to start my grind. So we're currently on the lightfall campaign you've got an option of doing the legendary campaign or the normal campaign and it's up to you really if, you, if you've already done the legendary campaign on like your main character you've got the exotic armor or the rewards anyway and the only real benefit of doing that again is you get the rewards again but if you're not too fussed it doesn't really matter because the gear bundle for me is the main reason you get a 1770 power level gear bundle to give you that boost you're not going to need that with this method with this method, you're going to go far past 1770 very, very quickly, so it's not needed. So you can just fly through the campaign on the normal difficulty and continue your grind much quicker. And here is why you want to equip those higher items. This is the first loot chest I've come across on the campaign here. I'm going to pick this loot up. And when we take a look at that loot, I only got one gear piece there. We got a chest piece here, and look at the increase. 
it's taking it from 1600 all the way to 1669 so i'll swap that out and the reason it's doing that is because my weapons are boosting my current power level when it drops you new items even though your power level is really low on the gear pieces it's taking your whole power level as a whole and dropping your gear pieces on the power level based off your whole level so you get much higher drops which means you're going to be increasing your power level much quicker i've just reached my second loot drop so i'm going to collect that and we've got a couple more items to throw on here. We've got some 1681 gloves. And I've improved my chest again from 1669 to 1683. That's taken me from a power score of 1604 all the way to 1689 in a matter of minutes. And this is how you can give a huge boost to your additional characters on Destiny 2. It works great. By the end of like the first campaign mission, you're going to be well above the soft cap. And I'm not sh too sure what the cap on your power level is, but it, it negates the need to go through the legendary campaign again, put it that way. It just gives you a good boost on your next grind for your new character. So when you are working on additional characters on Destiny 2, make sure you always take over your highest power weapons. As I said, get them as high as you can and it just means it takes out some of the grind there will be a cap that you reach is probably before the powerful cap where you are going to have to get powerful gear and then pinnacle gear again but it takes out all that legwork beforehand and it, it just saves time if this video has been helpful don't forget to hit like and share to support subscribe for more content from myself and as i said earlier we've got a great destiny community is very very helpful if you're new to the game or you're experienced you want to help others come and check us out it's linked at the top of the video description but that's it from me for now. Thank you for watching this video today. Until next time, stay safe and peace out.